Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot, getting ready here to do your end of July love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. All right, Virgo. Okay, please do click, like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, let's get into the rest of July the rest of the last two weeks of July 2022. Okay, what does Virgo need to know? Oh, also, if you um, would like to get more Virgo readings, you can also go over to my other channel, House of Virgo, here on YouTube. It's a channel strictly for Virgos. Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, huh. codependency. So there's codependency in a relationship. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, there's a need to heal and work on a codependency issue either within yourself um, or there's a person in your life or someone in your heart that needs to work on that. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, this feels like, hmm, all right, this is weird. There's, there's, some, there's some energy here where somebody is suffering from either codependency or a heavy addiction. Does that mean that person shouldn't be loved? No. Um, does that person, does that mean that that person's an awful, terrible person? No. Um, there's suffering going on here. Um, does that mean you should stay involved? in a codependent relationship? No, it doesn't. Um, but this give the relationship a chance. I feel, hmm, there's a, there's a sacrifice. You're being asked to make some kind of sacrifice. Oh my goodness. So I don't feel like give the relationship a chance in the fact, this is a tough message, Virgo, for you. <laughs> and I want to be very careful with what I say here because I'm definitely not telling you to be more codependent in a relationship with someone. I don't feel like you should do that. I don't feel like you should enable negative behaviors from somebody else. But I feel like part of this working on this partnership might just be saying to somebody, you know what? This, this relationship is very toxic. I, I, will, I would like to work on this connection, but I can't because addictions there's like an interference okay let me see here all right hammer wow what the heck virgo sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it gosh okay look it takes two to tango virgo you know um this person i feel needs to also two people need to work through some codependency issues or something that became very toxic in a relationship for something to work i feel like somebody here wants to give this relationship a chance they might have a habit of sabotaging relationships or there might be like this or sabotaging the relationship this might be like one minute being persistent working on it and then the next minute sabotaging it and then rebuilding again Okay, let me see what else do you have here, Virgo? Okay, the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Okay, Virgo. Hmm. I just feel a very harsh energy right now. <laughs> I really do for you, Virgo. Um, but from yourself, it's like I feel anger. You know, like somebody here is like, why should I give a relationship with a chance with somebody who is living in an addiction and is just very codependent? Uh, I mean, spirit is telling you to express your love to this person in kindness because somebody is suffering. They're not telling you to work on the partnership in the sense of like get back together, but there is a work on the partnership energy here of like, Part of that is working on yourself. All right, let me just get into the tarot and see what's going on here. Okay, two of cups in the past. So there was definitely a connection with someone, uh, you and another person, mutual understanding and agreement. 
right now you've got the two of swords so you're a little bit like you know there's a decision you may have to compromise about something um i feel like there's a blocking energy right now while you try to figure out what you want to do or what how you want to handle something there's a real challenge here to bring some truth or to say something i feel like there's a little bit of a stifled energy um i feel like some of you do want to work on a partnership with someone um but i feel like if there's if there's some type of toxic energy here i feel like you need to set a boundary with someone there's just something here about somebody doesn't know i feel like someone here does not know that they have um that they hmm it's weird somebody could be actually addicted to a substance or they could just have addictive behaviors where or and not be using anything somebody just has like a very in and out kind of energy someone who's very inconsistent and unstable kind of acts like an addict you know um and i don't know if your person is an addict or not or you know if there's somebody who just has these addictive like behaviors you know um i feel like you have a truth that you need to tell to this person because there was definitely love here in the past friendship um and there was some type of understanding between two people but there's something now uh, it's it's a benefit for you to say this to this person like you have to say something um, if if somebody reaches out to you, I don't feel like you need to reach out to somebody and just say, hey, you're an addict, stay away, that kind of thing. I feel like if a conversation comes up, and we'll see if it does, the opportunity arrives to talk, which I feel like it will, with the Ace of Swords, because this is a new opportunity to talk. And it's kind of, something tells me, if it's hard for you to, might be hard for you to say something, you don't want to be cruel, okay um you want to express your feelings to this person but maybe express them in a kind way you know like i love you but i can't be a part of this toxic it's too there's too much codependency um that kind of energy what's driving this reading okay yeah ten of wands you're carrying a very heavy burden at this time very heavy you're exhausted virgo you're just exhausted Okay. but you <laughs> get the knight of cups but you want that love you love somebody you love somebody but there's something about the relationship that's become unhealthy or is unhealthy and that's tough when you love someone because you gotta live and let live and you you have to just you know if you're dealing with someone who's an addict or has addictive tendencies or something along those lines like you can't change another person you can try to be as crystal clear and give clarity some of you might be coming to terms with this right now like wow this is what the issue is um some of you might be coming to terms with this at this time i want to say something but I'm, I'm feeling like you're kind of blocked from saying anything um but you like your thought process is you just wish this person would you know make a proposal or love you or admire you or something along those lines but at the same time you're totally burned out okay you might want someone to just you know get some healing let me see what's coming in the near future here okay so i see you you know you're moving on here virgo i mean you want to work on this partnership but you've got the nine of pentacles i feel like you're stable i feel like you're doing well you will be sh you're showing up that way towards the end of the month um really grounded have like single single and solo and and be, living your best life feeling just just feeling good just feeling okay you're not like you just feel content and happy with who you are i see you coming into that energy okay your advice here is to reconsider something what do you need to reconsider with this seven of pentacles here to reconsider whether you want to invest and see it hmm. think about it okay that's what they're saying ask yourself is there a possibility for growth here because you're being asked to work on a partnership another person is being asked to work both of you are being asked to work on a partnership here and hammer out the issues um but for you 
your advice is just to wait a little bit and see if there's potential for growth before you reach out or say anything to someone let's take a look at this person's energy oh my goodness okay so they have the hangman let me get these back okay so this is piscean energy here this person has the hangman it's kind of like stuck but seeing things a little bit differently okay and also the four of cups i feel like this person this is like a little bit of a spiritual awakening in a way it's kind of like getting a new perspective on themselves this person with the four of cups they're it's like they're questioning themselves why they remain indifferent okay why why they feel indifferent why they deny love you know and and <laughs> why they de deny any kind of spiritual healing you know i feel like they're kind of like jesus is coming into this person's heart man i don't know what's going on here let's see oh look love why they denied this love yeah this person is waking up to the fact that maybe they were indifferent or apathetic to love okay and to this beautiful connection to the the opportunity for you know why they decided to say no why they say no i don't know that this person um it just feels like they're taking a look at themselves here with the hanged man or, or there something's being brought to them because i feel like whenever this person you know met you and there was some type of mutual understanding and love and and there was friendship and the opportunity for that to grow into this lovers here beautiful energy but it feels like this person they're looking at why they denied that maybe it's their addiction maybe it's codependency okay um codependency in a sense can't live without you um kind of thing but it's unhealthy type of attachment it's unhealthy attachment it's not a healthy attachment okay your hopes here balance peace harmony this is where you're at this is what you're seeking in your life all right um let me see here okay balance peace harmony truth okay you hope that you will be able to have a conversation with this person and tell them the truth give this person clarity um not in a harmful way i do feel like you want to work on this partnership but like i said some things have to be hammered out here and if you're able to tell this person in kind you know um why you are because i feel like you're blocking this this connection right now because i feel like you're having like a light bulb moment or it's, you're trying to confirm some type of light bulb moment about this connection if you have the opportunity to talk to them i feel like what you hope for is that you can bring peace through your words and understanding to just basically say you know that you want to work on a partnership they want to work on a partnership i feel like this person is you know taking a look and and i feel like they really do love you they have a lot of love for you okay and the outcome is the page of swords and the ten of pentacles okay hmm this is difficult because i feel like there's two people who don't kind of keep an eye on each other i feel like um the outcome of this reading is screaming this is this truth about stability truth about long-term security i do feel like that this conversation that you guys have um even if you say something to this person about these codependency issues and but you want to work on the partnership but this this addictive stuff needs to be hammered out and dealt with in order for it to happen i feel like your person here is going to consider all of this i feel like there's going to be um a desire to understand more about that like okay so what do you mean if we're gonna if we can have this long-term security and this stability this fight this um um 
it feels like a, a, a strong foundation for family and uh, marriage and things like that. There's a lot of curiosity. I feel like this person is going to be very curious to learn more about this because I don't think that they're aware. I don't think that this person is even aware that they operate this way. And I feel like you are beginning to identify things here about this relationship. I don't think they know. I feel like for you, Virgo, you got to tell them what you're seeing. And maybe even if you've seen it in yourself, uh, you might have to say it to this person as well. Because I, I don't really feel like you... Um, I don't feel like this person's aware that they have this going on with them. Okay, let me see what other love messages there are here for you. Okay, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So I feel like this person... You guys must be in separation or there was some kind of uh, letting each other go. That's a difficult thing. Okay. Putting away the computer. Hmm. Maybe there was communication through a computer or a phone. Um, there's also working less will help strengthen the relationship. Um, this feels like getting back into... I don't know, something going on. There might have been computer addiction as well. Someone is addicted to maybe social media. Okay. Somebody's, oh, that's what I, there you go. I feel like someone either got off or is getting off social media or any kind of, you know, the computer can be very addicting as well. Um, there's so much information, so much to learn, there's so much to see. You know, it, it can it can just pull you in. I feel like somebody here, maybe it's you, maybe it's them. Um, very difficult to put away the computer or let go of the games. Maybe somebody was like a gamer. It just sucked up so much of somebody's time. And, um, you know, what do they always say? If you want to lose weight, push away from the table, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, there's an awakening happen here. Someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. That's what I was saying here. So I feel like it's very hopeful. There, there seems to be like a healing with this relationship where two people can actually heal, but there has to be a conversation, a clear, truthful, um, peaceful conversation, okay? And to be lighthearted, okay? To bring things out into the open, um, where we have the dragonfly, things, having things coming to light, okay? Somebody here wants to be more than friends, both of you perhaps, um, because I feel like at one point that there was friendship, okay, and love, right? Um, but to bring, go from the two of cups to the lovers, um, this person has the lovers. I feel like this person is very much in love with you, very much. Uh, but they have, it, it feels mostly like uh, two people came together, innocent, and then each other's issues attached themselves to each other. And th there was like a cleansing. I always feel like the Two of Swords is kind of like a cleansing because we're seeking clarity and trying to balance things out. Okay, so it looks very positive. If you're willing, if the opportunity comes to talk, or if you get the courage to communicate with somebody, um, there can be communication going forward. I feel like this person would be very curious to understand more about themselves if you're able to tell them in a kind way, not in a harsh, judging, critical way. Okay, if that's something that you want. I know this message probably isn't going to be for everybody, but you know. The message is for who it's for. All right, Virgo, um, definitely go over and check out my other channel, House of Virgo, if you want to get daily Virgo readings. And I will see you guys in August. Take care.